I just bought this Senjin from a guy in America. It's uh, made by Marv Industries. It's the same company that makes the vertical or made vertical uh, Robert Fulton line. But this one is, as you can see, is horizontal. And it's the less common version. Uh, I don't know much about it. But I don't even know what it's called. I've heard some people refer to it as a Robert Fulton line. Uh, I don't know if that's official or not. Like uh, most toys from this era, uh, it's designed to kill off the child population, uh, presumably in an effort to solve the population price, uh, crisis. Um, and of course, it, it's being electric, mains electric, and it has no earth and probably usually dodgy wiring inside. I haven't looked inside this one, so I don't know. So I've um, attached a little bit of metal to which I connect an earth wire. Before I uh, switch on the mains, which I shall now do. Of course, uh, it's 110 volts electric being American. I have my big 3000 watt transformer down on the floor there. Far too big for this job, but uh, that doesn't do any harm. I'm using steam oil on the cylinder and the port face as usual. And I usually use some thinner oil on the other moving parts, but in this case, um, the crankshaft goes through the boiler and therefore gets rather warm. So I'm using steam oil on the crankshaft as well. Generally speaking, this uh, engine seems to be in reasonably good condition. There's a little bit of rust on the uh, on the boiler there. It's a steel boiler, but uh, not enough to make it dangerous. I should probably treat that. The paintwork uh, seems to be original. Um, Something that's obviously not original is the safety valve, or at least it's uh, it looks very new and it looks very different from the one on the other Marv Industries engine I've got, the vertical one. So I assume that's not the original safety valve. The two wire cable looks a little bit dodgy but I've tested it with the mega and it seems to be all right or at least you don't test the cable with the mega but uh, the connections to the heater inside the mega 
and there's no obvious breaks in the insulation. Although there may be underneath the cotton cover, but uh, nothing visible. So I'll probably leave that as it is. If I do replace it, then I'll replace it with a three core to do away with uh, the extra earth connection. Unusual for toy steam engines is has a half decent whistle. electricity. You see how long it takes to fly down. 